If you're a young woman and you're wondering how to get into studying God's word, which is your Bible, or you lack the motivation, I mean, sometimes it just seems boring and you just don't even know how to get into it. Or maybe sometimes you second guess yourself and you wonder if it's even worth it at all. If that is you, my sister, this video is specially for you. And I'll tell you why. In this video, I share a unique perspective on how to look at studying God's word and provide you with three tips to help you on your journey or to continue on the journey of seeking God and spending time studying his word. So how about we get straight into it? Just before we get into it, for much more practical tips that will empower you as a young woman to live your best life in Christ. <laughs> and for much more engaging lifestyle content, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you're notified with everything that goes on in this channel. And whenever we have a new video specifically for you, which will be every single Tuesday. Okay, let's start with this. I want to remind you of that one time that you went on YouTube to watch one video, okay? You said to yourself, you're just going there to watch one video. An hour later, you have watched multiple videos that you did not plan to watch, okay? It went from going on YouTube to watch one video, an hour later, you're still on YouTube. And really and truly, you had no business being on YouTube for that long, okay? Can I suggest to you that in the same way you went on YouTube to watch one video, an hour later, you ended up watching multiple videos. Can I suggest to you that studying our Bible works in the same way, getting to know God a bit more and his word works in the same way? Okay, let me explain. The same way we start off on YouTube with one video and then one video leads to another is the same way in which when we start in the Bible with one topic, with one chapter, with one verse, that can then lead from one thing to another. And what I'm realizing now being a bit further into my journey is that it's actually a powerful process. And to be honest, the seasons genuinely just creep in. Like you'll look back and you'll feel like, mm, Okay, I kind of did grow, I kind of know a little bit more. So honestly, that is just what I wanted to start off with to encourage you. And just in case you haven't actually watched my video for how I personally built my relationship with God, then do make sure you watch this that video after you watch this video because it really is a powerful video. So tip number one, always pray before you read God's word. I sometimes forget this step, but what I do realize and recognize is that when we do pray before we read God's word, what we're essentially saying is, God, I can't do this by myself. God, this is your word. I need you to reveal to me what it is that you want me to get from this. And it's just so powerful actually saying that to God, because what that is also saying is as a sign, but English, I am, it's a sign of humility, us saying, God, I can't do this by myself. So I need you my father. God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. And in case you're wondering what an example prayer could be, you could just simply pray, dear heavenly father, as I open your word right now, I just want to ask for you to give me wisdom. Holy Spirit, I just want to ask you to reveal things to me that currently I have no idea about right now. And I just want to ask that as I read this word, you speak to me in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Tip number two, Study the Bible deliberately by desire. So when I say study deliberately, I mean, what are some of the things that you're going through right now? What are some of your current struggles? For me, when I first, you know, um, got into my relationship with God and when I took it seriously, I did not know how to be single. That was something, how to be single was something I did not know how to do. I hadn't been single for years. So for me, what did I do? I got a Bible devotional app on the U version. I'm sorry, I, I started a Bible devotion on the YouVersion Bible app and it was literally all about how to be single. And honestly, I would that would be at, at the beginning, at the, in, the, in the early days of the journey, that would honestly be the only thing I would read because at that point I wasn't in my journey where I wanted to know the God for who he was. I didn't necessarily, I wouldn't say I was mature enough at the time and I'm still definitely growing. I'm not saying I've got it all together, but I wouldn't say that I particularly was reading my Bible to know about the character of God at that point. My biggest struggle in that moment was how to be single. 
How can you do that? Maybe for example, you just literally get pen to paper. My biggest struggles. You can just list them out one by one and that can be a starting point for you. Very practical, very efficient. And then you're like, okay, do you know what? I wanna know what the Bible says about this topic. How can I learn about this topic based on God's word? And the YouVersion Bible app is an amazing place where you can just have different devotionals and stuff. And that's a great place to start this. So to sort of bring this point to a close, I would definitely recommend that you first acknowledge where your the missing gaps are in your current life or on your journey and let the desire to fill that gap be what drives you to study the word. Oh, that was a word. <laughs> Tip number three, read versions of the Bible that you actually understand. Sometimes what I will do, or a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll read the same verse, same chapter, same story or whatever it is, same topic in different versions. So for example, if I'm reading Matthew 25 verse five, or let's just say I'm reading Matthew 25, okay? I will read that in the message translation, the NLT version. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the passion translation. And I'll read it and maybe say, for example, like three, four versions, the same thing. And what I'm doing is it's almost like I'm exposing my mind to different ways of thinking things, thinking about that same topic. And remember as well, at this point, I prayed for the Holy Spirit to give me wisdom. So the Holy Spirit is able to reveal it to me in just different ways. So that's definitely something that I would recommend to you as well. So those are the three tips that I have for you today, sister. And honestly, what I will say is that there's no one size fits all to this. I mean, there's no magic formula or magic pill. That's why I said these are three tips I'm giving you. These are not the three steps, but they're simply tips because it's honestly a journey with you and the Holy Spirit. It's honestly a journey with you and God. And if the language I'm saying right now is, you know, because depending on where you are in your journey, I don't want to assume everyone knows what I mean when I say the Holy Spirit, then let me know in the comment section below, be like, sis, can you simplify that for me? Can you do a new video, whatever it is? Or if you don't wanna comment down below, then let me know, send me a personal message or send me an email as well. I'm here to help in the best way that I can. So um, so yeah, so it's, there's no quick fix. And even if you are on the journey and you feel like, yo, this is long, this is a little bit, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Honestly, keep on going. Again, I will continue to say this. I have not always been an active follower of Christ. I've I've been a lukewarm Christian. I've been doing my own thing, living my best life woo, in the way that I wanted to. But now I'm just so fully committed to just advancing the kingdom of God because God is the way, okay? It's all about God and his plan. To simplify this, I want you to remember P D. B. Hey, P, D, B, that's it. Hey, P, D, B, come on. Hey, P, D, B, pray, read the Bible deliberately and read versions of the Bible that you understand. I'm just gonna close us in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just wanna say thank you so much for every single one of your children that are watching this video or listening to this video. Oh, <laughs> this video right now lord i just want to pray that as every single one of us are on our journeys lord i just want to pray that you give us the desire to seek first your kingdom above all else in the name of jesus we pray and everybody says amen there you have it i've had an amazing time with you today in this video is that even appropriate to say i don't really know but i'm just going to flow with it anyways i've had a great time i hope you've enjoyed watching this video as well please let me know in the comment section below what your favorite or your biggest takeaway is and what are you going to do and if you are looking for a three-step game plan that will help you even further on your journey then a young woman's guide to seeking god is definitely the book for you it's a short and sweet book where you'll discover what it means to seek God first and practical steps that will help you on your faith journey. And you can grab a copy below this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And I've got so much more videos coming your way every Tuesday each week. So if you haven't subscribed, sister, please do now. This is a place for us to build a family, a community. A, 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 a. This is a place for us to build a family and just get to know each other a bit more. Adios y hasta luego. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this.